Good morning. It's uh, Friday, June 25th. This morning for devotions, I'm reading from Henri Nguyen's You Are the Beloved. This one's called To Care. To care, one must offer one's own vulnerable self to others as a source of healing. To care for the aging, therefore, must mean first of all to enter into close contact with your own aging self, to sense your own time, and to experience the movements of your own life cycle. From this aging itself, from this aging self, healing can come forth and others can be invited to cast off the paralyzing fear for their future. As long as we think that caring means only being nice and friendly to old people, paying them a visit, bringing them a flower, or offering them a ride, we are apt to forget how much more important it is for us to be willing and able um, to be present to those we care for. How can we fu be fully present to the elderly when we are hiding from our own aging? How can we listen to their pains when their stories open wounds in us that we are trying to cover up? How can we offer companionship when we want to keep our own aging self out of the room? And how can we gently touch the vulnerable spots in old people's lives when, our, when we have armored our own vulnerable self with fear and blindness? Only when we enter into solidarity with the aging and speak out of common experience can we help others to discover the freedom of old age. That speaks not only of, of old age and aging, but it speaks of just connecting with people. Um, sometimes we often think that we need to, to come from a source of strength. You know, the people that are hurting, we need to be strong for them and we need to be um, without any pain for ourselves. And, and um, you know, we're just there for them and, and all this kind of thing. And that's, it's good in a way, but sometimes it doesn't build the bridges you know, that, are, that are very deep. They're very wide and very long, I guess. Um, yeah, when you come, when you connect with someone else out of pain, um, it's good to, to start there. Uh, and, and maybe the two, the two of you can, can uh, develop um, a relationship and a sense of strength for each other to, to climb out of whatever it is, or at least to be um, present for each other. That's what Jesus is for us, present for us. And, uh, you know, and I wonder, too, that, you know, Jesus, I imagine, didn't need to die and suffer and be betrayed in order to save us. God can do whatever God wants. But I think that, you know, having Jesus come as a human being and then going through what we go through, and, uh, you know, the disciples watched this, and I think they were slowly building bridges with him because they saw he was vulnerable. And at the end, he was, he was, he suffered and he died. And uh, people understand suffering, and they can relate to that. That's not out of their out of their hands, their grasp. Uh, and yet, he built it, built past that. Um, he used the pain to do something better, to do something more hopeful for us. And I think, you know, that's an important thing: is to to connect with each other, but to build each other up through that, in whatever way that means. Healing takes many different forms, healing and wholeness, physical, emotional, spiritual, relational, what have you. Um, but I think it's important that we don't shy away from connecting with others because, you know, we feel vulnerable and it's a, it's a, it's a, that we feel that we need to be strong and, and, and it's not always the case. It's not always the case. Um, but connecting is important. And the aging thing, yeah, I think, you know, as I'm, I'm talking to the, the men at men's breakfast saying, yeah, that, that choir that belong to, they all have gray hair. They're all gray hairs. And they look at me and go, yeah, you have gray hair too. I'm like, oh, <laughs> that's right. I have gray hair too. So um, we're all connected. We're all connected. Um, uh, so anyway, let us pray. Gracious and loving God, help us connect to you and to each other, not only through strength, but through our pain and vulnerability. That, we, uh, that we're always able to connect in however we are, in whatever state we're in. That there are people that are in the same state or um, looking for a relationship, um, however that comes. 
and to, to provide strength for vulnerability in many ways. To continue our journey with you, our presence is important with each other and your presence is ultimately important to us. So help us connect to each other as we connect to you, as you're always connecting to us. In your name we pray. Amen. Okay, until tomorrow, have a peaceful day.